The pros have it all. Ride their bikes every day, massage, team chef, really nice equipment. But when I did turn pro and started racing full time, I learned a few things and some of them kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting them. So in this video, I'm gonna list some of the more unexpected things I discovered as a professional cyclist. And no, the fact that it's really hard isn't one because that's quite an obvious one. Okay, so I and probably everyone else knew that pro cycling would be hard, but I gotta tell you, I thought I'd win a lot more than I did. It was a bit unexpected when, well, I didn't. And it was a bit of a shock to the system, I'm gonna admit it. I thought I'd have my hands in the air a lot more than I did. Instead, I ended up suffering and getting dropped all the time. Which is a truth that happens to many pro cyclists. Well, I had dreams, everyone has dreams. Don't blame me for it. I think, I, I think I've been dropped enough now. I think I'm in the broom wagon. You'd think as a pro rider that you'd be doing a lot of training, preparing for races, but really, when you get into it, when the season starts, you're just doing a lot, a lot of races every day. You think you can get some let up, do one race, get a call for another. Do one race, get a call for another one. Always on the rivet, racing. Another thing I really wasn't expecting when I turned pro was for races to be longer than I thought they'd be. You see the distance on paper, 200k, 220k. What you don't see is the neutralized zone. And you get that in the road book just the day before maybe or in the stats that your manager might send you leading into the race. Now, neutralized zones could be anything from 10, 15 kilometers in length sometimes in the Giro d'Italia. It take you twisting around little side streets like this. It's not part of the race, there's a commissaire car in front, but the distance you do isn't tallied up in the stage. It's, it's not part of the race. So races ended up being way, way longer than I thought they'd be. Didn't see that one coming. If you want to get used to being a pro, well, you've got to get used to only taking your holiday in October or November. The off season, and you have to take it all at once. A little unexpected, you can't take little breaks, right? You have to keep on training. Your manager's hot on your back to keep your form in check. Speaking of which, uh, um, oh, better take this, hello? Yeah, yeah, training hard, yep. Yeah. No, yeah, just about to press start on the intervals. Yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, bye. Better, better get going again. No rest for the wicked, no holidays. One thing that definitely can be quite surprising is that when you turn pro, you don't really make the decisions anymore. As an amateur or a younger kid, when you're going up through the racing ranks, it was often your decision when to attack, what to do in a race. As a pro, you have to listen to your manager, you have to listen to the team leader or the captain in part of your team. Now get in line! And you have to do what they say, no matter what. If they say attack, you attack. If they say you've got to go back for a bottle and you're not feeling that great, well, tough. You've got to go back for a bottle and, oof, that can hurt the legs and be quite surprising too. Wasn't expecting that one. Not something I discovered when I was racing, more when I stopped. It was quite a shock to the system. I was used to my routine. My hours on the bike every day, getting back, and after myself, eating right. And it was a routine I was used to for many years. And then yeah, when I stopped, it was, a bit, it was a bit of a shock. And I think what I was most surprised about was the fact that I missed the pain in my legs. Didn't expect that at all. Luckily, I found GCN and they found many different ways to hurt my legs. So, so I was okay in the end. never actually been skiing in my life, which is probably a good thing because rather surprisingly, as a pro, you're not allowed to go skiing. It's written in your contract. No dangerous sports, no zipping down the black run in Chamonix. That's a ski slope, is it? I actually genuinely have never been skiing. A bit surprising though, isn't it? Stick to the bike riding. It's in the contract, in the clause. No dangerous sports. Otherwise, well, all those victories might be out of the question. So I just stick to bike riding because that's, uh, Bike races are nice and, nice and safe, aren't they? So those are a few surprising things I discovered when I was a professional. Wouldn't have learned them otherwise. Let me know down below though, what you think you find most surprising about life as a pro. 
interested to hear the suggestions to that one. And don't forget, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching. I'm off to, um, I'll maybe turn back the clock and do a few hill reps. Hank told me to do it. He forced me into it. He's my manager now. Cracks the whip.